Welcome back. Our next guest is from Jackson, Tennessee, and he is my new hero. <laughs> he has one of the most interesting and probably desirable jobs in the country. Everybody wants to do what, ja what uh, Jack's doing. Jack Arnett, as you said, is from Jackson. He's a master distiller for Jack Daniels. Only the seventh master distiller in wow. the distillery's history. Began production in when? 1866, so we'll be celebrating 150 years next year. So, like, there are more presidents of the United States <laughs> than there are master distillers. Since Jack Daniels was formed, there have been uh, 28 presidents and 12 popes, but only seven distillers. <laughs> why, so, <laughs> why is that? Wow. Why is there such a long span of time? You know, I think partly because, you know, people who work at Jack Daniels tend to love what they do, and they just don't want to go to work somewhere else, and that's clearly my case. You know, when I joined Jack Daniels, I knew I'd found my home, and it was not... Um, um, a place that I was willing to leave, at least not on my own free will. So. How, how does one train to be a master distiller? Is it is it like a, an apprenticeship type of thing, or do you go to college to learn it, that? It, it was for me. You know, when I went to college, I pursued an engineering degree, and I tell people I wasn't necessarily working directly towards being a distiller, but I, I was clearly getting familiar with the product uh, during those years. <laughs> but, I was about uh, to say, I think I could, uh, I have a little expertise in that. Yeah. But no, I, you know, when I came out of college, I had an engineering degree, and I ended up working in the food and beverage manufacturing. I made uh, mm -hmm. coffee. I moved to New Orleans and made coffee for a few years. I moved out to Texas and made juice drinks. And then Ooh. my hometown of Jackson is, is famous, I think, for Pringles. If you, if you yeah. travel along the interstate there, you'll see Pringles Park. So yeah. I ended up making Pringles for a few years. And then there was an opening at the distillery for a quality control manager, and I was able to get that position. So yeah, I, I mean, we love Pringles, but ago. Pringles, <laughs> Daniels. My, my kids still like the Pringles thing. That, 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 <laughs> well, that's that's, 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 that's quite good. all right. That's Give quite them all right. a few years. Absolutely. <laughs> so you had sort of an inside track. You, you didn't just go into that because obviously there aren't that many job openings for your job. They're so not. once you got in there, what was that process like to learn specifically what you do now? Okay, well, I, I joined there back in 2001, and I spent seven years under the previous master distiller, and I was his quality control manager. So, you know, I think when people want to talk to a master distiller, their first questions tend to be around, why should I trust your product? You know, is the quality there? What right. can go wrong? How do you avoid those types of things? And that was really what my quality job was all about. So literally from cave spring water and grains all the way through ship goods years later, even answering consumer comments, I did it oh, all. Wow. Because how hard is it to make, when people open a bottle of Jack Daniels, yeah. it has to be the same, you know, they have an expectation. Sure. So you know. one slip up <laughs> and I mean, you're done. You know, we'll, you we'll, we'll most likely ship about 180 million bottles of Jack Daniels out of Lynchburg this year. And they'll range anywhere from a 50 ml like you might get on an airline yeah. all the way up to a three liter bottle, which is oh. not a size that you could buy in the U.S. But on every one million bottles, we only get three comments back wow. you know, where people say that, you know, something wasn't quite right about it. So we feel that's more than we want. You know, we take every one of them seriously. We yeah. never want anyone to be disappointed. But at the same time, for most companies, three That's defects in a million is a pretty good number. So I take great pride in that. And I think I, I really can't take credit for it because that's about what Jack Daniels was when I joined in 2001. But I can at least proudly say it's not gotten any worse you're during my you're tenure. So I'm, yeah, I'm protecting. <laughs> I, I'm, a, I'm being a good steward of a brand that I, I really love. That's awesome. How yeah. long does it take to make it? Well, anywhere from about four to seven years is the is wow. a typical maturity span for us. Um, so it's based wow. on kind of what you're wanting to get out of the barrel. You can stay in the barrel too long, especially when you're in a hot climate and uh, and have a brand new barrel as we do. You know, Jack Daniels makes its own barrels, and we're the only whiskey company to do that. So you have to kind of figure out. It's like you're brewing tea, and I tell people, you know, that there's a time over which it's getting better, but then there's a time that it's it's fully brewed, and you need to stop because you can make it too dark and too bitter. Uh, to be enjoyable. Is it a pretty narrow window? No, it's it's years long. Okay. Uh, but nevertheless, it's not going to wow. be indefinite. Huh. Uh, so unlike the Scotch industry that stays in the barrel a long time, they reuse our barrels. Um, okay. you know, we're we're known for using just new barrels. Well, I want to ask you about huh. the ducks because I guess yeah. the ducks retired from the Peabody. <laughs> yeah. Where else would they go? Yeah. They're headed out your way. Yeah, you know, apparently right. uh, some of our product was responsible for the ducks being in the so fountain weird. in the first place. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> we've had a great relationship with the Peabody over the years, and uh, and they've been Watch one of our uh, good barrel yeah. customers actually. To of the bottles on the table are very their specific nice. uh, single barrel picks that they're offering very at the hotel good. today. Um, but yeah, they, they've only retired ducks uh, it, to a farm here in Memphis, and they retire them about every three to four months. But we had talked to them and said, you know, we have sort of like a duck sanctuary at the, at the distillery. We've got fresh 
cave spring water right there beside the distillery. We get fresh grain deliveries every day, so we'll, they'll be grain fed and, and well cared for. So they brought over a round that was due to be retired to the farm here, That's so brought them awesome. to Lynchburg, and we transitioned them from their typical red carpet onto a black carpet and right <laughs> off into our pond. We don't want to go so to the shop I think they're very happy there. What a great, great continued marriage of two great Tennessee brands. Absolutely. It's so exciting, and there's a special dinner to honor Jack and honor Jack Daniels. And yes. did you have to change your name when you went to work? Today? <laughs> no, no, I'm Jeff. It's a I'm actually oh, I'm Jeff. Sorry, did, yeah. I, did I say Jack? Oh, yeah, earlier? I, as long as I you did. say it nicely, I'll answer yeah, to like, it. Yeah. Yeah. It's all, it's all this jacket. So. No, it's okay. It but says no. Jeff right here. I, I <laughs> promise I didn't taste <laughs> before. No, it, it's been seven years since I've done a dinner at the Peabody, but I'm really excited to be back. Uh, we'll yeah. be at Capri Shields Grill tonight nice. at, at uh, 6 o'clock. We'll be doing five different versions of Jack Daniels and a, and a, a chef uh, prepared four course meal. Uh, both the versions Beautiful. of the Peabody single barrel are going to be on display tonight, as well as our Sinatra Select, which many people haven't tried yet. Great. Sinatra awesome. Select. Yeah. Try that. Wow. One. Thank you so Thank much, you Jeff. Thank you so much. Yeah, Thank you so much for having to me meet today. You. It's been a pleasure. Good to see you. Golly, only one of seven. That blows my mind. <laughs> Next on Live at 9.